Oh, hey, we're doing the cliche, I didn't see you there, Andrew. Nah, I'm just kidding, I would never do that to you. Even though I just kinda did. What's up, Hellbait fam? It's your boy Flip, and today we're talking all about wires. But more specifically, the most common types used for vaping. We're gonna go over their material, diameter, what gauges are, and all the basic information you would need to know. Let's start off with a few things that apply to all wire, no matter what the material. All right, so the first thing we're talking about is gauges. Gauges is just the size of the wire. So this may sound a little confusing, but as the number of gauge goes up, the size of the wire goes down. So a 22 gauge wire would be thicker than a 24 gauge wire and so on and so forth. The most common size gauges you'll see in vaping are about a 22 to about a 36. So with gauge comes resistance. As the size of the wire increases, the resistance decreases. And usually lower gauge wire will tend to heat up slower because of the increase in size. So that means your higher gauge wires will have a higher resistance and tend to heat up faster than the lower gauge wires will. And that brings us to ramp up time. Ramp up time is all about how thick your coils are, what type of coil you're using. Like you might be using a collapsing coil that might take longer to ramp up than just a single round wire because there's more going on. You know what I mean? And then you have different coil materials they come with different ramp up times because of the materials that are used in them. And we're gonna go over that right now. So on the top of your list, you got Canthal. Canthal is usually used in just straight up wattage mode. Uh, it's usually not available for like temperature control and stuff like that. If you're just getting into rebuilding, Canthal is a great place to start because it's cheap, it's readily available. You can even find that on like Amazon. So the facts that you need to know about Canthal, it's a variable wattage type wire. You're not gonna be able to use this with temperature control. It's pretty easy to work with and it's inexpensive, so it's great for beginners. Which brings us to our next one and my personal favorite, nichrome. Nichrome is a mixture between nickel and chromium. So if you see things on containers that are like NI80 or NI90, it means it's 80% nickel and 20% chromium or 90% nickel and 10% chromium. You see where I'm going with this? So if you were to compare nichrome to canthal, nichrome would have a lower resistance, but it would heat up faster. It also has a lower melting point than canthal, so be careful about dry burning them coils. Now there is a downside to nichrome because some people out there do have nickel allergy. So if you know you have a nickel allergy, this isn't the coil for you because that could be dangerous. You don't want to vape something that you're allergic to because that's not going to be a pleasure experience for anybody. So remember your basic points about nichrome is that it has a faster ramp up time than canthal does and it may cause allergic reactions if you have allergic reactions to nickel. So be careful when you're buying nichrome coils is my point. All right, next you got nickel or NI200. Now that's just pure nickel. So people with nickel allergies, beware, this is not for you, even more so than the nichrome, which you still shouldn't be vaping on because you're allergic to nickel. If you don't know if you're allergic to nickel, maybe just steer clear of these two kinds of wires. That's what I would do personally. Now, a great thing about pure nickel is that you can do temperature control with it. There's nothing else standing in the way, so you can use this on your temperature control mods. So that's a good thing. A lot of people like to vape in temperature control. You can use nickel to do that. But we're gonna go over some other materials you can also use in temperature control, like stainless steel. Now stainless steel can be used in temperature control or straight wattage. It's really an all around good vaping wire. Now stainless steel does come in a couple different grades of wire, like SS316L and SS317L. Those are like the two most common ones. It also has a lower resistance than canthal, so it also will heat up faster as well. Just a heads up if you're using this, you might want to pulse your coils or like start at a lower wattage and really break them in before you start hitting it with that high wattage power. Which brings us to our last and probably most unique wire, titanium. I personally have never used titanium wires. Uh, they're temperature control only. You cannot use these in variable wattage mode. You'll probably burn your cotton. And another reason you want to be careful when you're using titanium wires, because if you go over 648 degrees Celsius, it actually releases a toxic component known as titanium dioxide. And for those of you wondering about the conversion rate, 648 Celsius is about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you go over that, you're basically poisoning yourself. So just a few points about titanium, it's TC only, it's a fire risk, and it could release harmful gases into your system. So just be careful if you're using titanium wire. I know a lot of shops won't even sell it because of the risk that it puts people in, but you can find it, it is out there if you're interested in trying to get into it. Time for a quick plug. Help Vape sells our own nichrome wires, available in N80 and N90. Find them at your local vape shops today or online. So that's pretty much it for common vaping wires. Really, which one is the best isn't really a thing. It's just what you prefer. So you have to really try out different things 
and get to know it. Get to know what it's like in different build, fused Claptons, aliens, tiger coils. There's something out there for everybody. Don't worry, you'll find yours. Me personally, I love the Nichrome. You might be a Canthal type of person. Or let me know if you vape with titanium down in the comments. I'm really interested to know. I'll answer back, trust me. Well, that's all for us today. I hope you guys learned something. Be safe, vape on.